know if this is going to work over the, uh, the sound of the headers. But major update time. Welcome back. It's uh, Father's Day 2022. Uh, I was not able to see much over Nah, I was able, willing, able, ready, there, in state, in town, but was unable to see much of it, not allowed, whatever. Uh, it, it coincides with moving day, and this video coincides with we just got back to Atlanta, so welcome home, right? Uh, big update. Last time I talked to you guys, pretty sure I was getting kicked out of a hospital. Um, yeah, so last time I talked to you guys, I got kicked out of an infusion center for telling a fat cop that he exceeded the weight limit of his belt, among other things. So at that point, I know, I'm pretty sure I was dying from this multiple sclerosis mess. Uh, it wasn't looking good. It wasn't looking good. But, miracle of miracles, Big Pharma decided to treat me like a charity case. And they got me on this miracle drug called a crevice. It's like $16,000 a dose. Happens every six months. And I sit in a chair for five hours and get the drippy drip. And it did its thing. Look, uh... It brought me back to health. I no longer feel like I'm dying. In fact, I have returned to work. And, uh, moving. Why are we moving, you say? Why would you move in? Well, we weren't going to. Until the landlord called and said that he wanted to sell the house and we had to get out in 30 days. He said, what the? And, uh, like, that's a whole mess. And that dude, Roger Ball, he can eat a dick. And I reckon... Nah, I ain't gonna get up here and talk about how I'm willing to catch another assault charge. Because that's just stupid. And be premeditated. Man! I could use another tooth scar right here. Is all I'm saying. Like, the set's not complete. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, douchebag X'd us out of the house, pushed us out, like, as soon as he said we got 30 days to get out, we're like, alright, well, screw you, I'm not paying you rent then, douche, and apparently North Carolina's got this law where if he, like, forces us out, he's gotta pay the different, I don't know, whatever, it's some big legal mess, and this guy's a dickhead, and my buddy Keith called right about the exact same time I said hey look I need you down here and I was like bro I'm sick I this MS stuff like I'm coming back to life but he said man, man I need you down here and I said it couldn't have come at a better time and so yeah new truck new house new adventure uh, new cellular equipment oh hey 5G update. Maybe I shouldn't have said the word. Whatever. I, I imagine we're far enough in that their algorithms ain't gonna get me. But, uh... Alright, so... You've got internet in your home, right? Odds are. You've got a home router from Spectrum, or Charter, or Xfinity, or AT&T, or T-Mobile, or whoever the hell you've got. You've got an internet router in your house. And I am willing to bet that it has been upgraded within the last two years to at least Wi-Fi 5, if not Wi-Fi 6. Hell, walk down your uh, your networking aisle at Walmart and go buy a router. They're going to be Wi-Fi 5 or 6, and guess what? It's fucking 5G. It's centimeter and millimeter wave. Polyphase directional antennas inside your freaking house. So, all of this, Ian quit his job installing cell phone towers because he was a, you know, I, I wanted to wake you guys up and save you from this evil technology. Well, it didn't wake anybody up. All it did was make me broke. While I was sitting at home on my, like, moral high horse, they went ahead and installed 5G cells, small cells everywhere. When we were locked down because of COVID, they were installing this shit in a massive wave in your schools, in your towns. 
in your houses. Jesus, you got an upgrade to your Wi-Fi. Guess what it was? <laughs> so, oh, I don't care. I'm tired of being broke. And you sheep are just cooking yourselves anyway. Like, I am too. But I, when I found out that my Wi-Fi 6 router was essentially the reason that I had quit my fucking job, I felt so stupid. Stupid! That's how I felt. I felt like I was now in debt and for no damn reason whatsoever. Like, they installed this shit anyway. Me warning you made no freaking difference whatsoever. It just got me banned from Facebook. So, whatever. I'm going back to work. I climb cell phone towers and I fucking love it. And I really, really love being able to pay my bills. But if you don't like that, then I don't know what to fucking tell you. It's America, Jack. Capitalism wins again.